what you're looking at, and if you're here, you would be smelling, is a brand new tool here in the workshop. Hey everyone, my name is Sam and welcome back to SamCraft. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and initial review of a new tool. Now, hold on, whoa, hang on a second. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this tool with my own money. Actually, this tool was recommended to me that we have to get it by my wife. Strange. Let's go ahead and open the box and jump in. Here we have an instruction manual and booklet full of all sorts of information that we'll probably never read. We have the tool itself in this fancy petroleum-based old dinosaur-made plastic bag. Ooh, ah, don't worry. Close-up footage is coming, guys. Hold on to your seat. We have a combo charger 12 and 20 volt Craftsman series battery charger. And then we have a battery. Now this is a 1.5 amp hour battery. So it's smaller than the other batteries. It might be the smallest one Craftsman makes, but battery included. We also have a belt clip and a box of assorted brad nails. All right. Let's bring you guys in closer and so you can get some really cool action shots of this new tool goodness. So this charger is a slim profile charger. It must be a newer model than what I have with my Craftsman cordless tool set, but it will still work because it is the 12 20 volt combo charging system. The battery is a 1.5 amp hour, so it is a little bit smaller in capacity than what you get with the cordless tool sets. However, it's really cool that this kit comes with a battery. You can always never have not enough batteries, usually at some point in time. Here's a look at the nailer itself. It's got a nice quick release for opening and loading cartridge nails. This particular model holds brad nails only. It is not a combo brad nailer and narrow crown stapler like some other models are out there. And it holds brad nails ranging from 5 8 to 2 inches in length. Your standard brad nail sizes will fit in this. This nail gun is an adjustable depth gun and that's done by this little gray wheel here on the side of the tool. You simply rotate it and it adjusts the length of the non-marring tip and surface. And that controls how deep the brad nails go through your surface. This gray lever right here is a stall release lever. It helps you advance the brads or kind of free up anything, supposedly, I guess, if you install out. I don't really know. That's a new thing for me. I'm used to air-powered pneumatic nailers. So maybe stalling out is something with electric ones. I honestly don't know. So zero help to you in that point. This gun comes with a belt clip and it does install in this little slot here if that's something you're interested in. You do need to remove the little Phillips screw, put the clip in and then tighten the screw back. That's what holds it in place. I don't plan on installing this with my gun because I really don't see me running and gunning, needing this on my side on my belt with a brad nailer. But if the day comes that I do need it, I can easily install it later for sure. Given I find it and remember where I put it. This nail gun has a few safety features built in. It will not allow you to fire it unless the tip is depressed. In addition, it has a trigger lockout and that is a small little switch right here on the bottom of the handle. Pushing it that way unlocks it, allows you to click the trigger, pulling it forward, locks it in place. As with all the Craftsman V20 batteries, they have built-in charge indicators and this one's coming one bar out of the box. Let's go ahead and put this thing on the charger and then we'll shoot some brads.
Our battery is all charged now. Let's go ahead and load it up. As you can see, I did go ahead and install a belt clip. I figure, why not? It's there. I probably will want to use it. And if I don't put it on now, I'll lose it and I'll never have it. Let's go put some brads in this thing and do some test shots. I'll start off with these short little brads they provide with the nailer here. All right, loads up normal. Battery in. This is my first time ever using a battery powered brad nailer. I've looked at a couple and what I'm expecting is I will go to pull the trigger and there's going to be some amount of wind up with it. But let's find out. Wow, that's quick. That is really surprising. Very cool. All right, so it does have a safety feature that if you press this down and fire a nail, and you try and fire again, it won't let you. It wants you to press down, pick up, and press down again. I like that. This is not a framing nail. You're not gonna be trying to smash the nails in the wood as fast as you can. So that is a good safety feature. Very cool. Come on in close and get some action shots. Well, so right out of the box after firing about 15 nails, what do I think about this nailer? I like it. Brad nailers are not really something that you have to be really complicated with and have a lot of requests or fancy things you want out of them. It is heavier than a pneumatic nailer, that is for sure, but you don't have the tether of an air hose and the requirement of having an air compressor. So you might be wondering, Sam, you're down here in your workshop. Why, why battery powered? Why, why should I get a battery powered system? I decided to get this because it is cordless, which is very handy. Whether I be working on projects here in my workshop, up at the house, or other places around our property, visiting family or friends, need to do some brad nailage, ready to rock and roll, we good to go. In addition, I currently have Craftsman cordless tools of the same exact battery type. So it is very useful to So it is very useful to have another battery for my tool ecosystem. Yes, this one and a half amp hour battery is not super awesome or big or great, but it is another battery and these things aren't cheap. In addition to that, I have another charger now so I can charge two batteries at once. This is kind of one of those tool purchases that makes sense the more you have. The have your cordless tools already then yeah, it would make sense to get the cordless nailer. If you're just looking for a nailer by itself, you don't have the cordless tools, nah, maybe not as much of a make sense kind of situation. Add on to that, if you already have an air compressor and you just want a brad nailer for your shop, nah, probably not worth it at all because the expense you're gonna pay for cordless battery powered is not worth it if you're only gonna use it in your shop. My reasoning for buying a cordless nailer is because my pneumatic brad nailer died on me, like mid project. Now that project was nothing huge or amazing like for a customer, it was some shop organization builds, but it was still pretty frustrating and annoying. So in that sense, I'm not just buying the tool to do a tool review. I wasn't sent this tool, I'm not sponsored at all yet. So I just wanna let you guys know that I did buy this tool myself. It is for my own personal needs. This isn't a sponsorship, I'm not, making this content for any kind of kickback any other way i'm just sharing with you guys a new tool that i bought for reasons that i needed personally here in my shop if you have any questions or comments leave them down below appreciate you guys watching if you haven't seen my unboxing of my craftsman cordless tool set there's a link down below to that video as well otherwise i appreciate you watching and i'll see you guys next time in the workshop